let's dive in with that and kind of explain to the audience uh, what is consciousness in a nutshell. The subtitle is A Psychonautical Odyssey. And I'm glad that you know what psychonaut means. For those who don't, it's it's one who wants to explore the mind. You know, you're not exploring the world as much. We've already discovered most of the world, but you're, what about the mind? This is the the, the final frontier right here. Yeah. And there's so much left to be discovered. If you want to know what baseline consciousness is, you really have to do something like that 90 day thing where you're not taking anything in, no drugs, no alcohol, no caffeine, nothing, and then see what it's like just to be a human, just to be alive, mm -hmm. and then start toying with that. This is kind of like mental cartography. So back in the day when, you know, we didn't have satellites and that sort of thing, how did they make maps of the world in globes? You know, in globes, like we had these things like hundreds of years ago. And so that's the kind of way that people are studying consciousness right now. You have to stretch and expand and perturb consciousness and see what happens and come back to baseline and uh, record the results. And, you know, you do this enough time across enough patients, enough volunteers, enough subjects, or self subjects, if you want. And uh, you start to get a, a map of what the brain looks like, and, and what compounds do and what they're capable of and what doorways they can open up for you. Yeah, can I agree more? Um, I am interested to know, uh, before we dive into the, the NDE, uh, because both of these events clearly are what changed the trajectory.